that's where you're gonna be able to storage charge and do all those fancy things you wanna do with it. Hi, my name is Jordan from The Hobby Man, and today I'm gonna be running through running through you how to select a charger that's right for you. There's a lot of features on chargers and you know what makes a charger good and what makes a charger kind of average. Like that's what we want to answer today. So I've got three in front of me that we sell quite a lot of and these are probably the three go-tos for us for most applications. So we've got a A3 Pro, C80 and a Sky C D260 here. Now this one here is a 16 watt, this one is 80 and this is 260, hence the names. But this one here is actually 130 per port, but we'll get to that later. Um, all these chargers usually have a specification, so they'll say, I do this many um, LiPo ports, or you know, I have this many ports on them. You wanna take that into consideration for how many batteries you're gonna be charging. So for instance, like this one has two, this is one, and some even have up to four, and I think I've seen it at six at one point, but that's a very specialized unit. Um, you also want to take note of what kind of battery types these will do. So the more basic ones like this, right, will only do LiPo, this one here only does LiPo, life, lithium ferrite, and nickel metal hydride. However, you can buy chargers that will do, for instance, like this one here, that will do all those, and also lead acid, lithium ions, lithium high voltage, it honestly goes on and on and on. Um, most of the time you'll probably only use one or two different types, depending of course on what, on what kind of battery you've got and what sort of cars you've got. This one here will also do most battery types as well, and it'll also do up to you know higher cell counts on LiPo. Some will only up to about four cells, like a is that Sky C D two six no D C eighty something like that. Anyway, this is Sky C one that only does up to four cell. It's like a smaller unit, really great for twos and three cells, but you wouldn't want to go more than that most of the time. This here is the D two sixty, and that has uh, I think it does up to a six cell. That's what most chargers will do. When you're selecting your charger. The specifications are always on the side. The really big key one you want to note is if it has a power supply built in, so a wall socket style thing, something like this to plug in to the back, like this. Most chargers will have this. However, if you go for high wattage options, so I think there's um, some Sky C will do some and also Ultra Power, a few other brands, they will often do ones that don't have a power supply built in. If that's the case, it means it's usually a very high wattage charger for a specialized job, but it needs it separately. And they can cost about $250 to $400 depending upon ampage. That's a story for another time, but you wanna make sure it actually can, for most people, has that power slot there, okay? If you lose the cable, you can usually buy it, you know, wherever, you know, wherever good things are sold, eBay, sometimes we have some lying around, JCAR, that kind of thing. But it just means that you can plug into your wall when you get, when you get it home, rather than needing to run it off 11 to 18 volts, although most chargers will have that capability. The other really big aspect to chargers you want to double check is circuit charge circuit power. Now this is measured in wattage. This is what you're really paying for with chargers. This one here is 16 watts. So it can only charge up to a maximum of two amps, which is fine for most, you know, especially for kids, you just get into the hobby, you want to try it out. Twos and three cells, no problem, right? Basic nickel metal hard drive, no problem. But this thing, even if you had an option for four to six cell, five cell lipos, it honestly couldn't do it. It would probably, the power supply inside would probably cook itself. It would get so hot. It just wouldn't, wouldn't handle it. That's when you start looking at things like the C80, which is it's 80 watts. And then you've got the D260, which is 130 watts per port. Um, there's a little problem, well, a little function, little app on the, on the internet I use called from Rapid Tables. It's a volt amps watts. And that item, that table there, will allow you to check what what it will charge at at the volts and amps that you have set it to. So if you have a twenty, if you have a fourteen point eight volt battery, and you plug it into this here, this charger will comfortably charge that thing at like I think it was about seven amps, which you probably never will do anyway, or maybe even close to eight amps, because you know you're only going to charge it at like five to six amps most of the time anyway. So the charger is gonna have a lot of oomph left in that power supply. It's not gonna overheat. So you can do two of those at once, four, four S's, you know, or you know, big three S packs, like you're in fractions, your X maxes, Baja rays, all those kinds of cars. That's why we sell that, this one for that application so much, because it will just 
take it and take it and take it. It will go all day. You can charge pack after pack after pack those four cells. Not a worry. The charger will handle it great. However, this one here, it's 50, 50 watts left per, per the port, right? So this is going to do twos and threes really comfortably. However, if you start trying to charge four cells, one after the other, after the other, after the other, that's where it will have issues. Eventually, if you do it too much, it will actually cook the power supply inside. And you really don't want that. You don't want to waste your money on something you're not going to use or it's not going to be right for you. You don't want to damage something you just bought either just by not knowing something, you know. So you want to use that um, rapid tables thing that I was talking about and double check the wattage. A lot of chargers and a lot of companies actually make chargers that look really fancy and they have lots of features like, oh, it'll charge a phone or have like a docking station and things like that. But if you read carefully in the specifications, you will find that it actually won't produce the wattage that you need to charge what you want. Um, like a lot of big four cell ones, it'll actually do 50 watts per port. It's, this one's actually better than it. You know, like you don't need, unless, you ch unless you're doing lots of two cells, continuously because you've got you know a bunch of kids and you've got slashes and everyone's having a good time perfect but for most application it doesn't actually do the job and you'll be sorely miss wanting more wattage because the charger will actually get you know you'll set it to six amps to charge your four cell and only charge it like 3.4 or 4 amps and the battery will take so long to charge it'll be it'll be painful i mean you don't spend 400 dollars on a charger not to have a charge quickly whereas something like this despite having less ports it has enough wattage to do those batteries quite quickly and you better get those charge times down to the hour level where you kind of expect it to be for a modern charger um so yeah that that's my advice with charging and chargers a lot of people get sucked into the extra ports and stuff like that but what you're paying for is wattage so just be really thoughtful about what your application is and where your future with the hobby is sometimes you start with a slash and you go oh this is really cool I'm having a great time and you look start looking at that X Max or that UDR or whatever it happens to be. And then you look at your charger and go, should have got a bigger one to begin with. If you are an adult, I would always recommend, this is probably the best value for money, like this $90, $90 area. That's where you're gonna be able to storage charge and do all those fancy things you wanna do with it. This is get you going, have a good time, see where the hobby takes you. And this beast here is I just bought a big, big car and I need to charge my batteries quickly and efficiently. Thanks so much. You have a great day. Ciao.